hey loves welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'm just going to be showing you guys my go-to winter makeup look so starting off by moisturizing my lips with my nivea chapstick and then right here i was trying to show you guys that i went in with my nyx hd studio primer off of camera so now grabbing my l'oreal nude magic nude um powder foundation and my damped beauty blender makeup sponge thing I go in and I stipple that all over my face and then right here I was showing you guys that I had a scab due to a pimple blackhead that I messed with and I turned it into a scab so yeah I'm just going ahead and I'm just stippling it all over my face and I don't know why but throughout this winter I just been doing this type of makeup a lot this quote-unquote natural looking makeup and I just been loving it so right here I'm building up the coverage and I know I'm looking my body is all looking like Casper I desperately need a tan I look super super white not that it's a bad thing looking white but I really do need some color in my life and body but yeah I look super white and pale so I drag it down my neck and I usually don't like to take it down my neck but for the sake of this video and because I look super super white I do it I usually just go in with powder and not any liquid but right here I just did for the sake of this video Now grabbing my Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer in shade Neutralizer, I believe. I am going to be highlighting underneath my eyes and covering up those dark circles. And I'm going to be highlighting my forehead, down the bridge of my nose, my cupid's bow, and my chin area. Oh, and the sides of my lips. And I just really really love this concealer guys and going back with my makeup blender I just blend that concealer out so now my concealer is blended out and I go in with my elf um, HD powder and I'm going to set my concealer and I know I look kind of scary without my brows but at the end everything comes all together <laughs> Now grabbing this e.l.f. complexion brush and I go in with my Jordana setting powder and I set the rest of my face with it. Now I take this foundation brush and a, my L'Oreal True Match powder and I go ahead and um, bronze my face, bronze slash contour my face. So I start off by contouring my forehead and then I carve out my cheekbones. And this is not going to be like a really, really harsh contour because I want my face to look more on the natural side. Right now it may look a little harsh, but at the end I blend everything together and then it ends up looking more natural.
Now grabbing my e.l.f. contour and blush kit and I grab this e.l.f. angled brush and I go in with the blush and I know I had just a little bit because I totally hit pan because I really really like this blush. I just like that it has like a sheen to it. I don't know but um yeah right here I'm just trying to grab as much as I could with my brush because it was basically almost gone so it may seem like I'm grabbing a lot but I really am not <laughs> I'm just trying to grab as much as I can of what was left on the little contour kit and now I grab my complexion brush again and I go in and blend everything out So now time for eyebrows and I go in with my Milani brow pencil and I start off by using the end with the spoolie and I comb my eyebrow hairs. And then I'm just gonna outline my eyebrows and I usually just start off wherever. I know many people start off at the end, sometimes I start off towards the middle or you know right where my brow begins. I don't know, I'm just weird. I don't. You know, I don't really start at a specific area and then I go back in with this fully and kind of blend in that color you see guys right here I started off at the beginning of my eyebrow I don't know I'm just so weird I don't know that's just how it works for me but yeah and then I trace both top and bottom and then grabbing my elf brow kit I'm going to go in with this small elf smudge brush and I grab that gel first but before that, I comb my eyebrow hair down so I can fill in the blank spots. And I try to be as light handed as I can, just so that my brows can look more on the natural side. Now grabbing the powder in the kit, I use that more towards the beginning of my eyebrow and the middle. And I just keep filling it in just to where I want it to be. So now I'm done with my eyebrows and I'm going to be setting them with this e.l.f. Um, brow gel and as you can see I'm also almost out of it but I have another one, good thing. And now I'm starting off with my little e.l.f. quad and using that like off-white type of eyeshadow I go in and put it on my brow bone and then all throughout my eye now going back in with that um, little elf contour kit I go in with that bronzing color and I go right into the crease with this wet and wild um, blending brush And I'm just going to be blending it out just to where I want it to be. Not too harsh, you know, not too little, just right. And I'm not going to be putting any eyeliner nor falsies. I'm just going to be putting on mascara and um, I'm just going to line my waterline.
Now I'm curling my eyelashes. And then I go in with my two Jordana mascaras. One thing I like about my eyelashes is that my top lashes are really long. But I just hate that they go straight down. They're not curl curly or anything like that. But I mean it's better than nothing. <laughs> Grabbing my eyebrow kit again, I'm going to be contouring my nose. And as you can see, my nose is a little crooked. So, yeah. First, I go in with that gel and then I go over it with the powder. And I'm, now I'm just going to slightly blend it out with my finger. And then I take my BH Cosmetics stipple brush and then I blend the rest of my nose out. So now I'm just giving my eyelashes one last curl like I said because they just go straight down and I want them to look curly and now I go in with my wet and wild um, eyeliner and I'm just gonna line my waterline And then I also tight line my eyes. And then I also gave myself like a little wing at the end. Not, nothing too dramatic. Now grabbing my e.l.f. Prism palette. And I'm gonna be using that goldish and that other yellowish shadow to highlight my cheekbones, my forehead my nose, cupid's bow, and chin area. And I'm going in with this elf fan brush. At first I just grabbed the goldish color, but at the end I decide to use that little um, yellowish color just so that my highlight can pop out a little more. And I do this all with my finger. <laughs> and now grabbing this Jordana lip liner, I think in Sugar Plum. And I'm just going to be lining my lips with it. And this is going to be option number one for my lips. And as you can tell, my hair got really messy throughout the video because when I started filming, I had just gone out the shower not that long. 
before and my hair was a little damped so throughout the video my hair was air drying and yeah I was getting a little frizzy so I apologize for that so yeah I kind of fill in my lips with this um, lip liner and now I grab this elf lip gloss and I just fill the rest of my lips and it was my first time using it and I really did like it guys it smells so good it had like a minty type of smell it just made me want to eat it off my lips <laughs> but yeah so that was the very first um, or the first lip option as you can see it looks all very natural okay for the second lip option I'm going in with this Maybelline brow eyeliner pencil in brown I believe and I'm going to line my lips with it and fill in my lips and this lip is going to be a very bold type of lip I really really like it with this type of look because I don't know I feel like all the attention goes towards lips And then I go in with this lipstick that I love a lot and now I'm putting down my hair and I hope you guys all enjoyed this video and you give it a thumbs up please subscribe and I'll see you bye